to interview women and the occasional token man about how their passion and purpose have collided to create healthy relationships and profitable businesses. I am Elizabeth Denham here with Rebecca Monet. We are the co-founders of the Coterie for Women and here to entertain you with our roses and thorns as we usually do. So Rebecca, you've had quite the week. I hope they're entertaining anyway. Maybe we're boring the crap out of people. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a really bizarre one. I didn't even tell you about this one, Elizabeth. Oh, surprise. So I have discovered Marketplace on Facebook. Oh, and fun. I love it. I love it. And of course, I'm furnishing a massive house and I came from a small house. So I'm looking for particular things and I found these two absolutely adorable high back chairs that'll make a great conversational area in the family room and they were just one of a kind kind of chairs I fell in love so I set up an appointment to go see these chairs right and I pull up and two dogs come out of the field (laughs) not only two dogs come out of the field so I'm assuming if they're running free they must be friendly dogs right right? I think that's what I would think so they literally come at me and one of them takes a chunk out of my inner thigh i got a bruise that big from holy cow right so i'm like in shock two women come out the door (laughs) and they're screaming at me knowing i have an appointment i'm going to be there at a certain time put your dogs up right they're screaming at me to get in so i don't get hurt more right and i'm like part of my brain is going shouldn't you be yelling at the dogs instead of yelling How many at dogs are they they were i guess just little mutts i mean oh. big mutts medium-sized dogs. Mm-hmm. so i go in the house so i go in the house no apology right mm-hmm. they go into instantly selling these cute little chairs which of course i'm already in love with before i got there no no do you want to take a look to see if there's blood right. nothing and finally i said could I use your restroom to see what's going on with my leg here? And, is it the same? Is it the same side as your broken leg? No, it's the other leg. Oh no! So now you have two it's issues. The other leg. Oh, so I, go back, I go back to look, and there's all these wonderful, positive thinking things on the wall, and I go back, and they go right back into the pitch. So I make an offer for the chair. One of the old girls is going. Whoa, 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 and the other one is quiet as a mouse. Oh. And the one that's going, blah, 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 is the sister of the one selling the, the chairs. Mm-hmm. And I make an offer. And it's a very fair offer um, for the chairs. And the quiet one simply says, no. <laughs> she doesn't say, you know, well, that, that's not going to work. I'm in this kind of situation. We have another offer. How about this? She, she just simply says, no. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> and part of me I'm like this isn't even a negotiation you do your dog just about killed me you should be giving me your that's chair. what I was thinking I she better you. give those to you real quick just to keep me accommodated and right. appeased I couldn't believe it Elizabeth I'm like what happened to social intelligence what happened to <laughs> empathy and compassion you know I would have said oh my gosh we put you through so much Rebecca Yes, of course, we're going to give you $25 off of these chairs. Yeah. So right? did you get the chairs or was that the end of it? By that time, I was like, I don't want the juju from those chairs <laughs> in my house. <laughs> you don't want the bad energy coming from that chair to your house. Wow. So did you just walk? I the, yeah, I don't care what the sign said, you know, all this positive thinking all over the house, because clearly they're not positive thinkers at those chairs now were cursed and <laughs> I'm a, so did you just walk away I walked away I I don't that's yeah. not me I'm a buyer uh, that that's not me but I just thought no apology no empathy no I just anyway that was my yeah my well, that's a rough my, start to your your new house not yeah. in addition to all the other rough starts that you've been having exactly but the good news I is, hope you have a rose to, to make it a little better. Yeah, I'm starting to move in. We're starting to move in Yay, into the house. Closed. Yesterday. So that's the 
that's the rose after minus the cute little chairs because there are other yeah. cute little chairs out there you will find what something. i think yeah so I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible i i feel bad yeah. and i wasn't even yeah, there. i told you my bruise but it's in a very sensitive area so okay yeah well, we won't we'll do that on imagine. Okay. i'll spare you <laughs> I don't know how you would get your leg up to the camera anyway. Well, yeah, I couldn't do it very well. You know, it wouldn't be too pretty anyway. <laughs> what was your rose and thorn? Well, as, as it off happen, often happens, I, my rose and thorn are the same thing. Um, over the last week, you know, it's the end of the year. This, this episode is going to air in the beginning of the year. But as 2020 is closing, um, I have talked to a lot of women um, for the magazine and we're getting the January issue ready. Um, and I think I've had at least three women cry on the phone with me um, and not in bad ways necessarily, but it's just emotional ways. I, I think a lot of people are hitting a wall. Things are wrapping up for this year. There's an emotional toll that the year has taken on us all. People are going up and down with their business or they're stuck at home or all these different things. And people, professional women at high levels who would not, I, I would imagine would never normally do that have been very vulnerable and honest. And you say, how are you? And people are actually telling you now, instead of saying, oh, I'm fine. They're like, well, I'm not so great. I'm hitting a wall. I'm emotional. I have half my Christmas decorations up and half are in boxes. I'm like, me too. Um, so the, the thorn is that we're in that place of hitting that wall communally, I think. The, the rose, I think, is that we are having more uh, we're solidifying relationships better. Like, I feel like I have, I feel like some of these women who might've been a business acquaintance or associate are now becoming my friends um, because I know where they are and I know how they're feeling and I know the struggles and, you know, clearly they're not things, they don't even say, keep this to yourself, but you, you would, because it's a respectful conversation to, to protect what they're going through. But the, the numbers of women who I've spoken to who have shared that kind of vulnerability and enabled me to do the same um, and just be able to say out loud in a professional relationship, I'm not great. Yeah. You know, I, I think I'm sad that we're not great, but I think it's a gift that we're not great together and we're able to talk about it. Um, I, I love it. And it's everything that we founded the Coterie for Women, our, our mission right it's to bring that transparency and some realness and support um and authenticity to relationships and even though this COVID is an ugly monster it really has brought like you said crazy wonderful blessings where we're getting to see the hearts and minds of one another that we haven't before because we've been busy head down building businesses raising families juggling priorities and now all of a sudden we're getting the real human being behind that successful franchise owner or the successful business person we're getting to see the real people it's so cool it really is and yesterday i interviewed a, a woman named noel from pizza hut she's a works for a franchisee in california and she was talking about having navigating those things and being more sensitive when people are not okay and yeah. saying, she said, I've said to people who are just hitting that wall, go home, take the rest of the day and take tomorrow off if you need it. And another uh, person said that they have mental health days sometimes where they all just take a day off on a Friday or in the middle of the week and they have made uh, some counseling available to their people. So I think that those are healthy, positive things that we probably should have been doing all along. Um, and I yeah. hope those will stick around because it, I think it's sometimes you're not okay, but that doesn't mean that you're not able to perform your job or good. You know, it's, it's not a deal breaker in a professional setting to be able to recognize that we all have bad days or bad periods of time and help each other through that while still respecting you as a professional. So I think if, if anything can come out of, of this year in business, that to me is, is a great lesson and a, and a gift. Yep. Relationships. And that's based on being able to share. Um, so what a wonderful blessing. I love your rose and thorn. Mine paled in comparison to yours. <laughs> so, thank you. Well, it just hit me the other day because I think we've all, you know, I, I've had not the best week of my life and you've had some struggles with your house closing and we've all been, I think the emotions are heightened and it's just nice to, it's nice to recognize that, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's like a roller coaster. It's like, and now I have a dog bite. Oh, yeah, you have a dog bite and that, another was my son's out of quarantine so we are so freaking happy it was okay. it was not fun feeding him with with a tray on the floor in front of his bedroom door so <laughs> oh, thank goodness you yeah, know. things are getting better right that's we're just going to keep saying that things are getting better <laughs> absolutely well until next week with another roses and stars uh what a great conversation thank you for sharing those things We'll see you next week for Roses and Thorns with Liz and Beth.